Hi, we're here at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins for today's Legal Minute, and we are talking with Lauren Doherty. Lauren, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing great. So what would you like to talk about? I thought today we would discuss a few different things related to real estate, different uh, deeds that you can have in your property and different interest in the property. So I'd like to start by talking the difference between a warranty deed and a quick claim deed. So those are two very common types of deeds that you may run into when it comes to your property. A warranty deed just warrants to the seller and the buyer that what you have interest in your property you're able to give them. It warrants to the buyer that you own the property you are purporting to transfer to them. Um, it warrants to them that you own the property outright. There's no liens or encumbrances against the property and they get what you have. A quick claim deed is similar, however there are no warranties. The quick claim deed just gives the buyer whatever interest the seller has. We're not warranting that there are not any liens or encumbrances against the property. You just get what I have if I were to give my property to you. Um, there's a couple other types of deeds that are common, especially when it comes to estate planning. Those would be a life estate deed and a transfer on death deed. So a life estate deed, if I own property and wanted to give you an interest in my property, I could give you a life estate deed. So I own the property, I keep an interest in the property until my death. So I have an interest in the property until I die, and once I die, you get all full ownership of that property. So you keep an interest during my lifetime, but yet you don't have full ownership until I pass. Mm -hmm. The difference between a life estate deed and a transfer on death deed is a transfer on death deed does not give you any interest in my property until I pass. So life estate deed, you hold an interest during my lifetime. Transfer on death deed, you don't hold an interest until I pass. I, upon my death, I would uh, put in my will or have the deed ready that would say who the property goes to upon my death for a transfer on death deed. Um, as far as ownership interest in a property, there's two common types. Um, of ownership interest. The first is joint with rights of survivorship and the second is tenants in common. So joint with rights of survivorship is very common for married couples. They take equal ownerships in the property at the same time by the same deed. If one of the um, couples, if one of the people passes, then their interest in the property automatically goes to the other person. So if my husband and I own a piece of property, joint with rights of survivorship, if I were to pass, he now owns 100% of the property upon my death. Um, tenants in common is a little different. That does not require equal ownership in the property. You can have varying amounts of interest in the property and you don't have to get your interest at the same time versus, via the same deed. Um, for tenants in common, if somebody were to pass, their interest doesn't automatically go to the other owners. It could go to somebody else that they specify in their will or it belongs to their estate. So that's a brief synopsis of a few different types of deeds and a couple of different types of ownership interest. A lot of, uh, a lot of great information there and if you would like uh, more information on uh, different types of deeds or if you have questions, you can always call uh, the office here and get a hold of Lauren or any of the uh, lawyers here at Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. Uh, Lauren, thank you very much. That's a lot of great information for us. Thank you.